in this video, I'll show you guys how to go from this to this. Okay, let's jump into some requirements and what this video is going to cover. So requirements, you'll need a public domain name. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video, but you have to go to a domain registrar. I use Cloudflare and request and pay for a public domain name. You also need an API key from your domain registrar. Uh, so this is how Acme and your domain registrar can communicate and confirm that you own the domain and also uh, request a certificate on your behalf. Uh, this is a trusted CA signed SSL cert from Let's Encrypt. You also need to set up some DNS redirections on your DNS server. Uh, I use Pi-hole. I will show you how to do that. Uh, if you're using your router or firewall, you'll have to configure that manually, but it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, and of course, you'll need a Proxmox server uh, that needs a cert. All right, what I'm going to cover in this video, uh, how to add a Cloudflare API key, how to set up those DNS names or DNS redirects for your Pi-hole server, uh, so this is going to point a human readable name to your server's IP address. And lastly, we're going to walk through the whole process in Proxmox from setting up your accounts for staging and production and actually generating those certs. Uh, a couple notes, this does not open up your Proxmox environment to the internet. Um, we are using a public domain name, but all of this, except for the registration, stays within your home network. Uh, all the DNS lookups are within your home network. Uh, this is just to save you a few clicks and skip those annoying uh, cert warnings in Proxmox. Uh, all that out of the way, let's jump into Cloudflare. Okay, first I'll be showing you in Cloudflare how to generate your API key. So click on the site that you want to use for your Proxmox cert. I'm going with spade.io here. Scroll down on the right hand side, you'll see your zone ID and account ID. I will hopefully be blurring those out. And then here there's a link to get your API token. So click that and then click create token. Use this first template edit zone DNS. Uh, you can rename this. So proxmox my domain.com zone DNS. Next, you want to go down to zone resources, leave it at specific zone, and just click the domain name that you want to use. That's it for this page, continue to summary. And then you want to create token. So it's that easy to create your token, copy this down somewhere, it will not show up again. So save it somewhere safe. And we'll be using this in the next step. All right, let's jump over to Pi-hole now. So now that we're logged into Pi-hole, let's take a look at our local DNS, DNS records. You can see I have a handful of them here. Uh, this is just to make things easier, so you don't have to remember all these IP addresses. But in this case, for the Proxmox certificate, it is required. For Proxmox to generate the certificate correctly, you do actually have to have this set up. So here's the one that I've done already, PVE, Proxmox Virtual Environment, .io. And then it does correspond to a dot 29 on my local network. Uh, today we're going to be going through pve2.spate.io. Okay, so it's very simple to add. Uh, just go to local DNS, DNS records. So this first part or the subdomain, it can be whatever you want to call it. Proxmox dot your public domain name dot com or .org or .io like mine. And then this is just the private IP address of your Proxmox server. So whatever it is, could be 10, could be 192.168.1.25, whatever. And then just, cl just click add. And that's it here in Pi-hole. Let's jump over to Proxmox. Okay, so now that we have our Cloudflare API token and our Cloudflare account ID, we also have our DNS name set up for our server in Pi-hole or whatever your DNS server is. Let's jump into Proxmox and get this set up. 
Okay, so first we're going to set up our staging and production accounts in Proxmox. Okay, so after we click on Data Center, scroll down to Acme, and under Accounts, hit Add. Under Account Name, we're going to call this Staging. Enter your email. For this one, we want to pick Staging and tick the box to accept the terms of service. And you should get an OK. You can close this out and you'll see your staging account. Let's do this one more time for production. Call this production. Again, enter your email. And this time we'll leave it alone because this is the production directory. And again, we get an OK. OK, so now that we have our account set up, production and staging, we're going to add our DNS plugin. So for me, my DNS is through Cloudflare. So I am going to pick Cloudflare Managed DNS. But you can see there's a ton of other DNS providers here, so pick the one that's relevant for you. So now I'm going to add my Cloudflare account ID and my Cloudflare token. And I'll meet, I'll see you guys in the next step. Once you've added your account ID and your API key or your API token, you'll see the plugin listed here. Okay, so next we click on our server, minus PVE2. Go down to System Certificates. Here under Acme, we're going to click Add. Change the challenge type from HTTP to DNS. The plugin will be the one we created earlier, minus Cloudflare. The domain, this will be the fully qualified domain of your server. So what your server is called, dot your domain name. In my case, that's pve2.spate.io. And click Create. Under Using Account, make sure you come up here and click and select Staging and click Apply. Once again, we're doing all of our testing for staging, not production. Once you're sure everything is set there, you can click Order Certificates Now. And if everything is successful, the browser should restart. Looking good so far. You can see it was validated. It's creating the certificate signing request. And again, my browser should refresh when it's done. There we go. Okay, so you can see it did that on its own. Uh, unfortunately, we are still getting the connection is not private error. Don't worry, that's expected. You can see if I look up here, certificate is not valid, but it is from Let's Encrypt. And it does have the correct common name. That's the name we put in earlier. So the only reason we're getting this error is because we chose staging, but that's fine, it's for testing. Now that this works, let's do it for production. Okay, so right back where we were, let's change the account to production. Make sure you click that apply. That tripped me up for a while because you can change it to production and click order certificates and you will keep getting a staging certificate. That was annoying. So make sure you click apply and it does say production here. So let's do this for real. Let's order certificates. Okay, so it didn't refresh automatically, but let's open a new window. And there we go. You can see we have our, our lock here showing that it is secure. And the certificate is valid. All right, that's all for this one.
Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any issues or questions, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next one.